Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of sandstorms. Have you ever wondered how these powerful natural phenomena form? Stick around and we'll explain the process step by step. Sandstorms, also known as dust storms, primarily occur in arid and semi-arid regions. These storms happen when strong winds lift loose sand and dust from the ground, creating a dense cloud of particles that can travel great distances. The formation of sandstorms begins with strong winds, often associated with weather fronts, thunderstorms, or cyclones. As these winds blow across the dry, barren land, they pick up loose particles of sand and dust, lifting them into the air. One key factor in sandstorm formation is the lack of vegetation. Plants and their roots help to anchor the soil, preventing it from being easily swept away. In areas where vegetation is sparse, the ground is more vulnerable to wind erosion. Another important factor is the condition of the soil. Loose, dry soil is more likely to be picked up by the wind. This is why sandstorms are common in deserts and other dry regions where the soil is not held together by moisture or plant roots. As the wind continues to blow, it lifts more and more particles into the air. These particles can be carried thousands of feet high and travel hundreds of miles. The intensity of the storm depends on the wind speed and the amount of loose material available. Sandstorms can be incredibly powerful and dangerous. They can reduce visibility to almost zero, making travel extremely hazardous. The particles in a sandstorm can also cause respiratory problems and damage electronic equipment. One famous example of a sandstorm is the Haboob, a type of intense dust storm that occurs in arid regions around the world. Haboobs are often associated with thunderstorms and can appear suddenly, creating a wall of dust that can be several kilometers wide. Sandstorms can also have a significant impact on the environment. They can transport nutrients to different areas, which can be beneficial for some ecosystems. However, they can also strip the land of its topsoil, leading to desertification. To mitigate the effects of sandstorms, various measures can be taken. Planting vegetation can help stabilize the soil, and building windbreaks can reduce wind speed. In some regions, artificial barriers are constructed to protect against sand encroachment. Scientists continue to study sandstorms to better understand their formation and impact. Advances in technology, such as satellite imaging and computer modeling, are helping researchers predict and track these storms more accurately. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating videos on natural phenomena.